What's going on, Internet? It is your boy, Eric Van Holtz, back again with another awesome episode from Urban Beardsman. Hope all's going well on the other side of the Internet. I want to talk to you guys today about your diet. And specifically, if you're lazy like me, how are you going to have a lazy man's diet? So in terms of exercise, I'm pretty lazy. Let me tell you, I'm not going to like cut around the bush here. I mean, you guys see these arms. I'm not lifting weights. Uh, but I do stay pretty active and I do that through walking. I walk a hell of a lot and I walk all around town, easily putting 10,000 steps a day. Um, so that's just part of my routine, keeps my heart going. But with my diet, traditionally, I've been a very bad eater. I love going to fast food. I love fast food, man. Processed foods, processed meats, all that stuff is like right up my alley. But recently, I figured if I'm not going to be active, uh, to my expectations, then I better step up my health game. So how can you be healthy and be lazy at the same time? Like up to this point, like I had no idea how to do that. Like what is the solution to do that? And it wasn't until recently that a brand new product came out that just like captured me and enveloped me. And I'm really excited to share it with you guys. Um, Soylent. How many of you guys know about Soylent? This stuff is uh, the lazy man's dream because what it's designed to be is the perfectly nutritional balanced meal um, that your body needs on a regular basis. So you essentially produce one of these, a meal's worth of these, and drink it, and then you're gonna know that you've got all the vitamins and you know, biotin and all that other stuff in there that you need. And uh, it's great because it's easy. All you gotta do is, let's, let's see, check it out. It's, it's just like a powdered drink. So you just mix it up with some water, shake it up, stick it in the fridge, pour it in your cup and uh, drink it. And then you go on with your day. So how I use it isn't um, as a total diet. I'm not on this only drink Soylent all the time. How I'm consuming it is when maybe I'm working a little bit too much during lunch and I wanna make sure that I consume calories in a healthy way or breakfasts that are just kind of monotonous and the same thing every single day. I just put some soil in there. I know it's gonna be healthy. I know it's gonna keep me like energized throughout the day. It does like, I, I do feel good when I'm drinking soil in. I don't get this crash like I do when I have oatmeal in the breakfast. So, uh, you know, look into Soylent. The biggest thing that people have with Soylent, uh, or the biggest thing that I've seen, is people don't like the taste. And you don't drink Soylent because it tastes good, right? You drink Soylent because you're lazy like me, and you'd rather not deal with the dishes, you'd rather not deal with the prep work, you'd rather not deal with driving out anywhere to get stuff. You just want to pour a drink, drink it, put it in the dishwasher, and go on with your life. And that's what's beautiful about it. If I can describe the taste to you, uh, a lot of people say it tastes like pancake batter. I've never drank pancake batter, so I have no idea what that tastes like. But to me, it is, it's kind of like a thick, um, it's like a protein shake in terms of texture. And then it's a little bit more oily to me. So I get this like little oil taste to it. A little bit of grit in there. Maybe I'm not stirring it well enough, but it's just got a little bit of that not the most perfect mouthfeel. And then in terms of smell, it's, uh, I mean, it's its not completely neutral, but it's not bad either, you know? It's its kind of starchy, um, kind of uh, malty, uh, it varies. So the thing with Soylent is, this is version 1.4. They just came out with version 1.5. They're continuously upgrading this to have the most perfect blend. And one meal is going to cost you about three to four bucks, uh, depending on how much you consume. It's a great solution for you guys looking to maintain a healthy diet and not do a lot of work for it. Check it out. And as always, don't listen to me when it comes to diets. I'm not a nutritionist. This is just what I do. Lots of options out there. Do your research. Find the thing that works best for you and live a healthy life so you can age and see all the things that you want to see. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Cheers. And beard on.